If you have a rectangular piece of paper, you can create a square by creating two triangles, two right triangles. I'm going to use this pink line here because I don't want the holes. I'm going to use that. Okay, and then if you just cut this off, you've got a square. You don't need to. You already have a square. You already have a square. But if you're at home and do not have origami paper, you're going to make a square with whatever paper you have by folding one corner down. No, use that one. Huh? You'll use that one. I haven't, I haven't gotten to the yellow square yet. Please, please sit down. Okay. So this is how you get just a square of paper if you're at home. All right. Those of you in class, we've already got our square, so we're gonna use it. Okay. Those of you at home might be using notebook paper, whatever paper you have is fine. Those of you in class, I gave you a sheet like this. Okay? And remember, just how you make the crane is a grade. So step one is going to be folding it in half. And you want your folds to be really crisp and right on that corner. Oh, I messed up there, so I'm going to adjust it again. We want it really, really crisp. There we go. That's better. Okay. Really. Put like that. Okay. And I'm going to do it this way. They are folding corner to corner, giving you an X. Okay, and then flip it over, okay, so it was like this, right, now flip it over, and you're going to fold it in half, like hamburger ways. You haven't messed up yet. And get those folds nice and crisp. Your paper should look like that. You've got an X and you've got a cross. All right? Then you're going to turn it so it's upwards and you're going to fold it down like a sandwich. Okay, that part gets people sometimes. You want it where it's like up, upward, right? And you're just going to kind of tuck these in and fold it down like a sandwich. Just You can re-watch the video if you need to. I'll post a link to it. Let's review the steps. So far, I've done this and this, two triangles. I flipped it over and I did hamburger, hamburger. Then I put it and like a diamond and just push these in. The crisper you make it with folds, the better. Okay, and now my folded parts are up top and like the mouth of it, the bottom, is at the bottom. Okay? It helps if you keep the same orientation that I'm using. Okay, so you see how it looks, looks like that. Okay, next step. You're going to take this part, just the top layer, and again, the mouth is at the bottom. Make sure your folded part's at the top. Just the top layer, and you're going to fold it into the middle. 
And you have the line down the middle. Rewatch this as much as you need to, okay? And I, I'm following the instructions that I put in the school as you too, if you want to have that up on your screen as well. Okay, those folds are there. I made them nice and crisp. Okay, and then there's a line that connects those two points together. I'm going to create a fold there. Okay, so line, line, line. And then tricky part, another tricky part, I know. Along that fold, we pull this up. those creases you already made. got this diamond. This is step six on the, the paper, the, the picture I posted. Okay, step seven is do the same thing on the other side. asking about his and he knows a different way to fold. You have to make a crane. You can follow along with mine, which again I'll post this video. You can watch it again. This is step seven right now on the on this this thing remember that I showed you right there. Um, but if you want to watch a different YouTube tutorial and figure it out you can. Okay so now we're going on to step eight. Which I need to be this way. Actually, I don't think it matters. Hmm. Nope, this way. These two at the top and this separation at the bottom. This way. Okay, so step eight you fold this way into the middle. layer and this way into the middle Is a step nine, which is kind of funny on that sheet. 
Okay, step 10. Let me take it and do a fold there. And a fold here. Okay, so it looks like that. Good. Step 11, you're going to invert them. Now that you have those folds, you bring it in and invert them on that line you've got. Do it on the other side too, if you need to see that again. Since I have those folds there, it just folds back in on itself on those folds. Again, fold down, create a line, and then fold in on itself there. And then the wing. You'll fold down and fold down again. And then there you go. That is your crane. Okay, I'm giving you the whole period to figure this out. So I'll post it to YouTube. You can rewatch it. I can walk around and help those of you that are here. You can look at other YouTube tutorials on how to fold a crane if those help. Okay, this is what we're doing today. This is its own grade, so you have to do it. Okay.